Hey folks, Daily Lions blog for August the 20th, 2018. I continue to uh, think a lot about Luke and the story that I wrote and uh, the reaction that people gave me. And there's a couple of things that I, I think are important for me to say. One of them is the, um, the guilt that I feel to some extent uh, from the reactions that I've got because um, so much of the reaction um, that we've received starts with somebody offering condolences to me. And I feel guilty about that because in the scheme of all of the people that were really hurt so terribly uh, by Luke's passing and the devastation that, that his family feels and lifelong friends feel, you know, I, I kind of feel like I, I don't fit in that group, even though the story was all about the closeness that we developed over the last couple of years based on a, a mutual enemy, which was depression. I just, I just don't feel like I'm worthy of condolences like that. Does that make sense, Case? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And the other thing is that um, one of the things that I, I do is I think about stuff and then I write stuff, but mostly I just write it. And sometimes I read back and I think about it afterwards and I actually learn something about myself from what I put down on paper. Now that may sound ridiculous, but I don't give a damn if it sounds ridiculous. Okay, Case? I'm just going to say it. I don't care. Were you going to say something? No, you don't really need me today. So, just, just keep going? Yeah. One of the things that I said at the end was that Luke loved life, but he didn't love the life that he was forced to live. And Luke wanted to live, but he did not want to live the life that he was dis destined to live. And I've been thinking a lot about that, and I've been thinking about, um, you know, how we would all apply that to our lives. Uh, because we all seem to think that we love life more than somebody that takes their own life. And, you know, what I learned from this experience uh, of, first of all, going through it with Luke, and second of all, uh, writing about it and thinking about it, was that I realized that, um, I, I mean, I knew this before, but it kind of confirms it for me, that the whole idea that someone takes their life does not want to live is, is only tells half the story. The other half of the story is that you don't want to live the life that you feel like you're destined to live. And that's very, very different than the assumption that someone takes their life just doesn't want to live. It's not a matter of that. I clarify that case? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Signalweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Uh, we're here because uh, we say things, because we think about things, and because we ask questions. Do you know what I mean when I say that? That uh, he loved life, but not the life that he was living. And he wanted to live, but not the life that he was destined to live. Does that make sense? Do you relate to it? Let us know.